So this is from Umarex. This is the Primal 20. This is a 20 gauge air gun. Yeah. Oh. Why? Uh, as we, we asked the question at Range Day yesterday, and really the biggest answer was why not, which I think could probably define a lot of the shot show. Stay on that it's a big bore air gun that shoots any 20 gauge projectile. We just shot 20 gauge slugs, as you can see here. This is just a regular uh, 20 gauge shotgun wad. And we have a 400 pound slug here. This is a rifled slug, but actually what's happening is, this is a smooth bored barrel of an air gun, but it's got an invector choke tube at the end, about three inches of a rifled uh, choke tube that gives it the spin. We just sent these downrange to about 100 yards, and there's a significant drop. I mean, this is kind of an old pumpkin round. Um, but think about the practical application, because I had to do a lot of thinking about it. This is shooting a 400 grain slug at about 700 feet per second. But all of that weight and that speed is hitting at about 430 foot-pounds at the muzzle. So when you get out a little bit, this is not a long-range gun by any means. So what is it, we've been asking. You think about urban deer, you think about hog control, this is not a bad option. Um, it's pretty quiet, there's very, very little recoil, and in terms of the gun itself, all the controls are ambidextrous. So I'm a lefty, we took the charging handle and we moved it to my side. But it's just as easy to take the charging handle and bring it to a righty's side. Obviously with the stock configuration, everything is ambidextrous. Um, the other cool thing is if you're in a deer stand, you might be able to hunt a deer with the slug, but you've got a pesky squirrel. You can put bird shot in this or small game shot and have a super quiet small game control device too. So it's a little unwieldy, It's uh, in, but it, what an interesting design. Uh, it's got a two shot magazine. This basically just slides back and forth across that bore. And it's got about four shot capacity. The front part here is actually the air chamber and it's about 4,000 PSI. So you've got, for a big bore round like this, you've got four, maybe five shots before you need to recharge it. You recharge it with a big air tank, so it makes it a little bit unwieldy. But if you charge this fully before a day in the field, count on probably four shots if you needed it. So maybe it's a solution in search of a problem, but what an interesting presence here at the SHOT Show. So you may ask precision wise, what is this going to deliver? I would call it minute of grain bin um, at, a, at 100 yards. Inside of 100, obviously, you're going to tighten those groups up a little bit. But for the things you might want it for, suburban deer, shooting hogs at close quarters, you probably don't need a lot of precision. But it does deliver a great big old thump. Uh, of a pumpkin downrange without a lot of sonic signature. So kind of bridges the gap between the AR-20 gauges, the AR shotgun platforms, and the big bore air rifles, the Primal 20.